Dan Orlovsky had another idea. Listen. I know everyone's pointing to Dan Mullen's season this year in Florida and going, what a disaster. I mean, they've, they've gone to three straight years of big-time bowl games in the SEC. So I'm just saying his name is going to be attached to that because of his prior history with quarterbacks and because of the skill set that Justin Fields has. I have said this. Justin Fields is the most important draft pick in the history of the Chicago Bears. The second most important pick will be who they select as the next head coach. All right, and at first you're like, wait, failed college coach, except that Cardinals hired Cliff Kingsbury key and uh, seem to be doing pretty well. You know, uh, Max, I, I, as I set out in sunny Southern California yesterday and, and pondered over college football head coaches going to the pros, and I thought about this, and I said to myself, you know, college coaches can – make the transition and be successful at doing it. As long as they make the adjustment from college to the pros, Cliff Kingsbury was not necessarily making the adjustment the first three years or two years as the head coach for the Arizona Cardinals. In his third year, he started to run the ball more. He started to get out of this, we got to throw the ball on the one-yard line four straight times on first and goal. He got smart. In the offseason, he did a self-evaluation to realize, okay, offensively, I got something in the passing game. I need to kind of implement a running game in here to be more successful. On top of that, he hired Vance Joseph, the defensive coordinator that used to be the former Denver Broncos, Miami Dolphins defensive coordinator, to become his defensive coordinator. He was a head coach at the Dolphins. I mean, a head coach at the Denver Broncos. He got fired, but then he became their D.C., so it gotten better. Now I think, as I sat in the sand with my toes yesterday out in Malibu, <laughs> it it was like, you know what, Mike? It, it might make sense to go and hire a college football coach that doesn't have the responsibility of recruiting, the stress level that that brings, where you now could just deal with grown-ass men with full beards and you know you can't BS them around because they'll call you out opposed to the college game. So uh, Ryan Day, Dan Mullen, maybe that's the way to go. You know, Key, what's interesting about that, just to move the conversation forward, two thoughts. First of all, a head coach has to have a growth mindset and come in and say, what's working and where do we need to evolve? A recent example is Nick Sirianni. They came in led the league in pass attempts early. Now they're running the ball, playing more to Jalen Hurts' strengths, and now he, look how much better they're doing. Mike Tomlin, when he got the job with the Steelers, he was a Tony Dungy, cover two sort of disciple. He got to Pittsburgh. Dick LeBeau was much more of a pressure, odd front. The rest is history. Mike Tomlin's a Hall of Fame coach because he's a leader and he could adapt. And I think what you're saying is really interesting. When we've hired coaches in the past, one of the questions you ask is, well, who are you bringing with you? Like, who's your cabinet? If you told me that Dan Mullen was going to bring somebody like Rex Ryan, who's a two-time NFL head coach, yeah. whose family is revered in Chicago, and is going to bring a pressure defense led by a healthy Khalil Mack, wow, that's really interesting to pair Dan Mullen and his offensive expertise with somebody like Rex, who checks a lot of boxes, experienced as a head coach, revered in the city, has defensive acumen second to none. Now – you have a way to develop Jalen Hurt, excuse me, uh, Justin Fields with a guy that's developed Tim Tebow, Dak Prescott, and countless other quarterbacks, and you've solved your defensive issues as well. But, Mike, let me ask you this. Considering the way Matt Nagy has handled the media, and I know winning takes care of all, cures all, right? But considering this pass with Matt Nagy and in understanding what Dan Mullen has said this year, a couple of things, like are you going to bring that same type of energy to the table for the Chicago Bears? Well, I'm a little bit with Key on this, which is like, as Coach Parcells would say, deodorant, winning is a great deodorant. It covers up everything that stinks. And if Dan Mullen comes in and shows material progress with Justin Fields, and you know what Rex is going to bring defensively, I think that's something that could play well there. I understand it's not Ryan Day or, or coming in with a, a – look, you're hiring a guy that just got let go. I understand that. But I think when you look at Cliff Kingsbury, fired at Texas Tech, he was the SC coordinator for about 10 minutes, and now it's working. So I think more importantly is – what puts that organization and Justin Fields in the best position to be successful? Yeah, I love yeah, the Rex and, and when point. you yeah. yeah, and when you look at it, 
when you look at it, Jay and, and, and Mike and Max, it's not so much that he failed in college. Now, let's remember, it's college. And in the end, was he really a failure or were the expectations so high at Florida that he didn't meet them in a timely manner in which they wanted him to? And I know what you're alluding to, Jay, his behavior in terms of the way he would, would do things when we dealt with the COVID situation. He was like bizarre a year ago with that whole thing. I will playing in front of any, you know, it was like, but that's college. The pros will make your ass grow up as a coach. Now, I love the Rex Ryan thing because, like, his dad, talk about the area, is carried off the field. The defensive coordinator carried off the field last time they won the Super Bowl. Like, that doesn't happen, right? But it did. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.